I didn't really, I didn't know the man. I knew the uh, incredible craftsman that he is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. Now this week, actress Robin Wright has actually spoken out about the Kevin Spacey scandal. Spacey this week is actually facing three new allegations in the UK. But before these came to light, Robin Wright sat down with the Today Show to talk about how his sudden departure affected the cast of House of Cards. Let's take a look. I think we were all surprised, of course, and ultimately uh, saddened. We forged ahead and we were so thankful that you were able to complete the series as planned. What some people may not realize is that the showrunners have been planning for there to be six seasons for quite some time. Obviously Spacey's allegations put a nail in the coffin, but it would have ended after this season anyway. Some people didn't believe that she was surprised about the allegations. Some comments were saying she had to have heard something and just didn't want to believe it or turned a blind eye to it. Which is fair, they did work together for over six years on this show, but she does address that she didn't really know him as a person. Was there anything in all these years of working with him that would have made you think something like this was possible? We were co-workers, really. We weren't, um, never socialized outside of work. Kevin and I knew each other between action and cut and in between setups where we would giggle. Um, I didn't really, I didn't know the man. I knew the uh, incredible craftsman that he is. And to this day, I don't think anyone's denying Kevin's acting abilities. He is one of the greatest actors of our time. It's just a shame that he turned out to not be a nice person off the screen. Allegations aside, it's sad to think that Wright and Spacey didn't have a relationship off screen. Their on-screen relationship was just so electric. And it's sad to think it was just the incredible performances of these two powerhouses rather than a genuine chemistry between the two. Respectful, professional relationship. He was so great with me um, and was never disrespectful to me. So that's my personal experience. That's, that's the only thing I feel that I have the right to talk about. I really respect her for commenting on what her own personal experience was with Spacey. Actor Guy Pearce, who worked on LA Confidential with Spacey, said that he was handsy and was commenting on what other people were saying about him and later withdrew the comments because he realised that yes, it was not fully his experience and he himself was not assaulted. As awful as the allegations are, it is good to see that Wright is sticking to what she has the, as she says, right to talk about. Has he tried to reach out or have you tried to reach out? No. I. I haven't heard from him and I don't even know how to reach him. I'd imagine having no contact would have been a big blow for the cast. They worked together for months at a time over years and years and all of a sudden this allegation comes up and then he doesn't show up for work the next day and then what do you do? Do you feel like Netflix did the right thing in cutting ties? I don't know how to comment on that but I think at that time the shock was so intense all over the nation for many reasons, many stories, many people. Um, I think that everybody felt that it was respectful to back off. They apparently filmed three episodes with Spacey before the allegations came out. And it was originally thought that maybe they'd include some of the scenes at the start to sort of write off his character, but obviously since they stopped filming immediately, they wouldn't have been able to give him a proper send off with the three episodes they had there. So. They just started from scratch, rewrote the scripts, reshot the episodes, and I would guess that we'd be finding out what happened to Frank in the first episode. Whether they kill him off, or whether he just disappears for a while, goes to jail, guess we'll see. This is an edited scene. This is an edited scene. So and Wright is taking on an additional role herself, director of the series finale. Nothing too new there, Wright has directed and produced many of the recent episodes. But it is interesting to hear that she'll be doing the series finale, which is no small feat for any TV show. The first table read, that was, you know, it was always Robin, Kevin, and me at the head of the table. And the first time we sat down, it was me and Robin. And it was just like, both of us looked at each other and it was like, wow, you know, we're, uh, we're doing this. Apparently Robin was the one that encouraged the producers to push forward and continue with the show, which is probably in her best interest now that she's the main lead. They're actually missing two main showrunners that they would have had a couple of seasons ago. Bo Willimon, who actually created the American series. He actually left at the start of season five to ironically join politics. But then with Spacey gone as well, it would have been a completely different experience sitting down to read the scripts for the final season. Seduction, I don't care who you are, it's about power. 
And once you overpower someone, that person then becomes vulnerable. And this last year, I think, has shined a light in a new way to allow us to start a new conversation. So we just need to shift the paradigm. Spoken like a true Underwood. Now the Today Show have said there was more to the interview about specifics of the new season, but they said they're gonna hold off on showing those parts of the interview until the promotions start rolling out at the end of the year. The Today Show also said that they reached out to Spacey and his team, but there was no response. And there literally has been nothing on Spacey's social media. There's been no statements made from him since the allegations, which you can't really be too surprised about. His last statement didn't exactly go down well. But it's crazy to think we've seen the end of Kevin Spacey. I feel like there's no way for him to ever come back from this, and rightfully so if the allegations are true. Doors will be closing in his face left, right, and center, and no one would be willing to put him in a movie or even a play or anything like that. But no matter how the allegations turn out, there's just too many of them to fight. And he'll always have that reputation moving forward. So I just don't see any coming back from that. But what do you think? I'm always interested to hear what you guys have to say and I'll be chatting with you guys in the comments. But until next time, thanks so much for hanging out. If you had a good time, then spank that like button. And if you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers and that is all.